And queen takes f3. Oh, what is going wow. on? Oh, this is going to be a fortress. I just don't see any hopes at all. This is very easy. Just rook back and forth. Taking chess to the next level. Wow. Wow. Wow, yeah. Nothing else to say. Wow. Creating the future of the sport. Introducing the Champions Chess Tour. 10 months, 10 tournaments. The world's best players online and on TV. Okay, uh, welcome everybody to my uh, banter blitz here on Chess24. Um, you can challenge me uh, for um, one minute bullet games, uh, three minute blitz games, and also uh, five minutes. And also you have to make sure to be a premium member. I'm only accepting premium members. Um, so let's just jump straight to it. I have a challenge from Ardaus, uh, strong player, 2400. So let's see how we will uh, begin this session. I'm playing with the black pieces. Uh, apparently, a guy from Turkey who really likes uh, Maxim Vashiel Lagrab. Uh, so he goes for d4. So let's go knight f6. Maybe he wants to go for uh, the London system, obviously. Uh, so I'll just play my normal line. So here, after e3, uh, the, there are different options, but I really like queen b6, challenging the pawn on b2 after queen b3. So it goes queen c2, and here I have this trick with bishop f5. And obviously, he knows what he's doing. So I'm just trying to play a bit quick. Um, so knight h4, let's go bishop e4, try to provoke f3, and then perhaps go back to g6 and say that maybe f3 is a weakness. Maybe I can go knight h5 next move. Um, yeah, so that's why he goes. Um, h3, so knight h5, bishop h2, then I can go bishop e7. Then I have bishop h4 check, which is quite annoying. Um, that looks quite good, actually. Yeah, so go knight h5, bishop h2, I expect, and bishop e7. Also, queen d8 is interesting. Um, yeah, queen d8 is also quite interesting. Uh, but I think I'll just go bishop e7, because it's a normal developing move, so it doesn't care about that. And now perhaps bishop e7 first. Um, because after knight takes e4, ef4, uh, g3 um, is rather solid. But after g3 here, now I can just go g5. And after bishop e5, then f6, and I win this bishop. Um, so it's, it's a hard position because bishop h4 check will uh, come to the board, and I'll, I'll put my uh, bishop on g3 or maybe i have some yeah i think king f1 i think i go knight takes f4 uh, e4 knight takes d4 um isn't that mate so knight takes f4 um ef4 knight takes d4 cd4 queen d4 and that should be mate so let's go for it so knight takes d4 if he takes back, I could just go queen takes d4 and I'm threatening mate on f2, which he cannot prevent. Um, so here he has to go for something else. But I mean, I, my idea is just to move the knight and then uh, again threaten to go queen f2 mate. Um, so I think he's already busted, uh, I, I guess. Uh, knight f5 is in the air. Yes, yeah, so I think I will start off uh, the session with a win, which is very nice. Always good to start off with a win. Boost my confidence. So it goes g3. Uh, I guess I can just take it because um, it doesn't really make any difference. So now still the same threats, moving my knights, followed by queen f2. And there's not much that he can do. 
maybe it goes rook g1, but I can go just knight f5. Okay, it takes on c4. Uh, so now I can just move my knight to, for instance, b3, threatening the queen and also mate on f2. Uh, but I can also go in knight f5, knight f5. I mean, knight b3 is rather simple. So I'll just take the queen. Got to do what I got to do. Um, yeah, and then he resigns the game. So let's see. Um, I, oops, I had a request. Yeah, I'll play. Um, this guy, also from Turkey, Emin Mirci. Um, again, with the black pieces, but I guess uh, we did quite fine in the previous game, so this should be all, be all right. So uh, he goes um, for this. Let's try the Banco Gambit, um, one of my pet lines, but he goes knight f3, so cd4, knight d4, e5. Uh, knight b5 is now the standard move, uh, where there's uh, this pawn sacrifice with d5. Uh, because, yeah, so he goes knight c2. Here I can go d5 immediately, and I think I'll have a very nice game. Um, but usually it's some kind of end game, so maybe if I go knight c6, there's Knight c3 preventing me from going d5. So let's just go for the end game. I don't know that this is supposed to be the best, uh, but rather equal, I believe. So he goes e3, which should not be the best move. So now I can go knight to c6. Um, for instance, yeah, now I can go d4, which is very interesting. I think I can go d4, and now he will have to, okay, he doesn't have to take, but uh, the knight on c3 will have to move at some point. So e4, uh, e takes d4, I guess knight b5, but I can always go just bishop c5 and overprotecting that pawn on d4. So I think I'm already doing quite fine here, I believe. Uh, I, get, I feel like he has to take on d4 to open up his bishop on c1. So he takes on d4, uh, e takes d4. Yes, he has to go knight p5 because knight e2 runs into d3, so it goes for knight p5. Let's go bishop c5. And next, just castle. So he goes a3, and now after a6, um, his knight is trapped. Um, so you can go b4, a, b5, b, c5. Doesn't really lead to anything special. So what else can I do? Um, a6, b4, bishop, b6, c5. Um, I mean, this is also a possible move. So what if I got short castle, then b4, rook e8, check. That looks very nice. b4, rook e8, yeah, rook e8, check. And if bishop e2, then just d3. I mean, there are all sorts of ideas, like bishop g4. Um, might arise at some point. But already here, I think he's quite busted. Bishop e2, just d3. Yeah, hard to say. Um, the king goes to d2, obviously, knight e4 check. Uh, he's just winning. So, yeah, it's probably has to go something like bishop e3. Uh, sacrifice, but that doesn't lead to. I can just take it. I think yeah, I'll just take it. He takes on c5. So now I can obviously give a check on a5, which looks pretty crucial. So, and if I take on f2 first, e takes f2, king takes f2. Um, now let's just go hmm, queen a5 check, king e2. Do I not have any kind of, so king e2, e takes f2, king takes f2. Huh. Let's just take on f2, king takes f2. Maybe it wasn't the smartest idea, but anyways, knight g4 or knight e4? Yes, knight e4, knight e4 check, king g1, queen f, I guess I should have gone knight g4. Yeah, whatever. Um, so here I can go queen to g5. Queen g5. Queen g5 hitting the c5 pawn. If queen d5, then I go back to f6. 
I'm not threatening mate on F2. So now, okay, I got to speed up a little bit. Um, 48 seconds for both players. So it goes H4, I'll take on C5. I mean, if King H2, I can always just go Knight F2 and grab that Rook in the corner. So it goes Knight E4. Obviously, I can also win this piece by going Rook to D8. So now I'm winning a piece, so here. Should also win the rook in the corner. And now this should be a checkmate, knight f3, a double check and the king has no moves. So also very nice uh, win. Let's see all the challenges. Let's play uh, this fella, Sebham. And so now I'm playing the white pieces, uh, going e4 and e5. Um, so let's just go normal, knight f3, and I expect knight c6. Obviously the Petrov with knight f6 is also possible. But let's try the scotch. Maybe mon uh, many of you want to go to see the scotch gambit, so let's go for the scotch gambit, knight f6. And which line should I go for? Maybe castling or e5? Let's go for castles. And after knight e4, maybe I can go for the more crazy line, which is knight c3 and then ask some uh, questions. Obviously, I can go for a normal rookie one uh, move, but knight c3 is also, or maybe just rookie one. Uh, but let's first see if he goes knight takes e4. Uh, the other line is bishop c5. I think black can also go d6, but yeah, okay, so go bishop c5. Now I should go e5, and now I think, yeah, uh, here. Um, Take on g7, rook g8. Um, I believe rook e1, check, yes. Uh, bishop e6, I think, bishop g5. Uh, and if queen d5, there's a knight c3. So let's see what, what he wants. So queen d7 is possible, obviously. So it goes queen d5, and I think knight c3 should already win the game because after d takes c3, I can just take the queen on d5 because there's a pin uh, along the, uh, the e file. So after knight e4, I'm threatening knight f6. And after rook takes g7, I have knight h4. Uh, okay, so bishop e7. Bishop e7, that's in interesting. Um, Obviously, I can take on e7. Yeah. Let's have a small think. Knight h4, queen can go back to d5. Yeah, let's go. Huh. Knight h4, I mean, queen can go to a5 or. Okay, I take on e7, king takes e7. Uh, knight takes d4, looks very nice, obviously. I think that just looks very solid, but can I catch the queen somehow? No, I don't think so. So knight takes d4, knight takes d4, queen takes d4. Rook d8, I'll just back to c3. I mean, I can also take on a7, but then he can take on g7, so let's not do that. Uh, and if he goes queen g6 now, I can go knight g3. And if queen takes or rook takes, there's knight f5 check. Um, coming. And also queen before check is now, I think, is a massive threat. Um, Black's king doesn't really have too many squares. Yeah, so both queen a3 and queen before are big threats. So probably should be just... Uh, should be winning here. Uh, so b5, I don't think he's got time for b5. Um, I can go, um, yeah, I can go queen a3, queen a4, queen a3, I will queen a3 check. King must go to, actually can go to e8. Uh, so this was a bit stupid. No, wait, yes, he can. Yeah. 
that was a bit stupid of me. So let's go back to c3. I think actually I might have to go king e7 back uh, to protect knight f6. And then what? What should I do? Um, so king e7. Maybe. Because it goes f6, but then I can just take. Uh, check on a king on e8 and winning the rook on g8. So king f7, I'll just take on g8. Oh, yeah, rook takes g8, now rook e3, threatening rook f3, now winning uh, the queen also, and the game. So well played uh, from you, Mr. Seban. Um, it's just... Have a look. Let's see what else I can play. Okay, so I'll play. Uh, I think this is one of the first challenges. Blender Panda uh, has been in the line for a time now. So I go e4, uh, Sicilian. And now, obviously, I have to go for the Alapin, uh, which is my new course. You should uh, definitely check it out on Chessable. Um, uh, it's now on sale as well, so uh, worth um, checking out right now. So yeah, this is the Alapin. He goes f4, bishop, g4. Now, um, I mean, there are lots of different options. I can go bishop e2, um, which is a normal line. I can go uh, d takes c5, uh, which is another line. I think dc5 is, uh, if I'm not <laughs> remembering wrong, uh, it's what I recommend, I think. Queen d1, king d1. After e5, I can go b4. Uh, and now after a5, I can go, I can go b5. Um, yeah, b5, I think is the move. Uh, I think this is all in my course. So if you want to study this closer, you can check it out on chessboard. Um, the high pressure Alapin Sicilian. Uh, so b5 hitting the knight there. So here, obviously now I can go h3. Uh, yeah, h3, just um, grabbing the bishop pair because now, um, okay, so it gives a check. So, yeah, I'll move my king to c2. Maybe another check, yeah, so king b2. Now I'm hitting the pawn on e5. So maybe f6. Then I can start developing like knight a3 or bishop b3. So knight a3 or bishop b3? Um, it's a hard question. Knight a3, knight e5. Yeah. It's not so easy. So knight a3. Yeah, let's just go knight a3. Maybe it was a bad move. It's knight e5. I was thinking of c6, but uh, suddenly it looks a bit loose. But okay, anyways, let's go c6. I'm a pawn up. Uh, so it takes there, and now I mean, I feel like I'm quite happy. I can go bishop d1. No, I mean bishop b2. I can go bishop e3. I can go bishop d2. I think bishop d2 looks very good. Ah, but there's knight b1. Knight b1 check. Actually, if knight b1, I'll just take it. Because I think I have a lot of compensation. I mean, maybe it's not enough, but I think I have the feeling that. Oh, now I see a very nice line. Okay, bishop takes f5, rook d1. Can I go bishop c4? I actually think so. So rook d1. Um, I think I can go bishop c4. Yeah. And here, uh, bishop b6 check, king b8, c7. Now queening and also winning the game. It was a very nice tactical uh, line. King b8 only move, c7 check, and then I just uh, queen on c8 next move. So this is over. Threatening mating a few moves. Okay, so he tries to go out with pieces. I, mean, I can take the rook, obviously. 
and that doesn't really solve the problem for a black. Okay, so bishop d3, I can go queen d8, beating both the and knight on e7. Yeah, he resigns. Good game, good game. Let's have a look. Um, let me see if there are some bullet um, challenges. Uh, I don't see any bullets for now. Um, so I'll just continue with playing the three minutes dangerous ride. Let's see what you got. He's playing with white pieces. Uh, goes d4, everybody goes d4 against me. Maybe they figure out that's uh, my weakness. So d4, c4. Let's again try the Banco Gambit since last player played uh, a knight f3. So once again, I'm not allowed to play the Banco. Um, so we'll try this so-called, I think it transposes some kind of Tarash system uh, reversed. So h3 looks like a normal, just bishop f5, rook c8. Plays very quickly, this guy. Um, CD5, okay, so now, okay, now this is an interesting position because um, white has a very weak pawn on d4 uh, and I have very easy attack against it uh, with knight takes d four following and there's no way to protect it. I think rook c okay so it goes b3 and now I can just take uh, a pawn I think I'll just do it I mean it's a free pawn so why not knight takes d4 and just trade off everything and be a healthy pawn up in the end game and just convert it uh, so knight takes d4 Takes d4. I mean, white will have to exchange off somehow because I have threats like bishop c2 or even take on b3. So rook c4, I mean, bishop c4 is not a correct move, I think, because now I can ruin the structure even more. Take, 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 and I can take on h3 as well. I have to remember that my pawn on a7 is oh, actually the rook is hanging on a1, I didn't realize. So thank you. Okay, so he resigns uh, there. Uh, good game, good game. Um, let's see. Let's play against Fito Nagar. Let's accept. Now I am white, e4. Obviously, I have to try to get as many Sicilians as possible. Uh, but he goes e5. Let's go knight c3. Maybe try the Vienna with f4. Uh, f4 here. d6, more uh, slow and solid system. Um, bishop g4. So bishop c4. Uh, so it takes an f3 rather quickly. And now probably knight c6. Uh, jumping into that juicy d4 square. But no, plays very quickly this, uh, this player. Okay, so. Knight bd7, I think you can just go d3, knight e5, bishop b3, and it's doing a good job there. Um, so after uh, castle, maybe queen g3, ideas like bishop h6 uh, is in the air, so that's why it goes um, king h6, so just bishop d2, normal um, development, maybe rook f2 and uh, double, double up. Uh, rook f5 maybe not interesting and in, in any queen trades with queen g4 so rook f5 also trying to provoke uh, black going g6 so knight g6 i think i can just continue with rook f1 um putting more pressure towards actually the f7 pawn if knight and f6 moves now ideas like h4 it's in the air. I guess c5 looks very weakening. c5, I can go knight c5. But do I want to wait, perhaps? I guess I want to wait. Can I go h4, h4? Yeah. Do I have anything tactical? Bishop g5, knight h5. 
Yeah. Doesn't really lead to anything special. I can go, yeah, let's just go knight d5, trade off this strong knight, and then bishop can arrive on c3 later. Okay. So now, obviously, I want to go on the bishop c3 next move if I uh, will get the possibility. And then, I mean, at some point, I wanted to sacrifice an f6 if black puts a piece on f6. So knight t5 is thinking, yeah, I guess he has to go knight takes t5. Otherwise, I'm just smashing through on f6 with no hesitation whatsoever. Okay, now I have to hesitate because now I can take on h6 as well, which is very, very tempting. Uh, bishop takes h6, knight takes d5. Bishop takes d5, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll do it this way. Move first, think later. And even here, there are many possibilities. Uh, um, so I can move I rook h5, rook h5, gh6. Nah. Should I just take? Maybe this was a bit unnecessary, but anyways. Or I could have taken on f7. Okay, but never mind. Um, yeah, I'll just take here because I can obviously just take on f8 whenever I want, but I want to continue with attack. Rook takes d6 uh, is in the air. If queen is seven, I think I will go queen h3. Queen h3 is just, uh, okay, not the idea now, but because the queen is covering. I guess I want to just go queen g5 and then to h5. But he prevents my threat. Okay. Okay, I'll take on d6. Now queen h3, can I do? Have to be a bit fast. Uh, queen takes d6, I have bishop f4 check, and now I have rook takes g6. So that was one of my ideas. And so now this should be uh, mate. Yes, it's quite well fought actually. It's, it was not so easy to break through. Okay, we have some big, big challenges from some high rated players. Let's see. Okay, let's take this Feed the Master Yup. Uh, rating of almost 2800. So almost the same as me. Um, so let's see what he can do. Yup, from Spain. Looks like we have played four times already. I have a positive score of uh, 3 to 1. So Yup, are you there? Let's see. Let's give him some time. Let this in the toilets. Grabbing something to drink. That reminds me of drinking some water. Yes, there he is. E45. Finally, one who's not played D4. Uh, E4, E5. Now, Yup is thinking, want to go for Vienna or normal with knight? Yes, knight C6. Bishop C4. And goes go knight to Let's just go bishop e7. Just very solid. Now I want to play for this very stupid line, king h8. Uh, and my next idea is to go knight to g8 uh, and then go f5. So queen b3. Interesting. I haven't seen that kind of 
play before. So, obviously knight to d7 looks very interesting. I guess I'll do knight d7 because bishop f7 and knight c5. And I want to open up uh, at the f line. So if it should be three, I think I can go f5. And now rook takes f3 uh, was there. Just back off my rook and go knight f6 back. If I'm not losing after knight g5. But for now, I think I have d5. So, okay, now we have interesting approach. So I can go e4, knight e4 and rook takes f3, but I don't think it leads to anything special. Hmm, yeah, I think I probably overplay this. So go queen e8. Bring the queen to g6 or h5. Um, prepare to take back on e5 with the knights. I'm not sure. I don't think my position is good, but I don't see. I don't think. I think white should just should have uh, just kept it cool and just. Develop so now he's trading off everything, and that makes the position a bit easier for me. Okay, bishop d4. So now I can grab the bishop pair with knight c4, queen c4. That's not so clear. Hmm. Okay, let's go for a more tactical approach. Bishop g5, and if knight e4. Um, yeah, what was my, I mean, I cannot go knight c4, you can even take back on c4 because after queen e4, bishop takes g7, but my idea was basically after knight e4 just to go bishop f4, so it takes, and now I can take on d2 obviously, but I can take on e5, let's take on e5, and now, okay, let's take the pawn, on a5. Okay, so I can just go bishop h6, and I think I'm just a pawn up. Obviously, white has some has much more active pieces, but I think I'm just doing fine. So bishop six. Strange that he wants to trade off pieces. I think I'll go queen b5. If I can trade off queens, that would be very very nice for me. Okay, so now I think the end game should be really good for me. Maybe I can take with the F rook. Because then I keep the A line open for my. Yeah, like this. And now I want to play against this knight on E4, maybe B6. Then next go D5. D5. Cannot be taken because then I take the rook on A1. And now, yeah, maybe I'm not playing this the best. Yeah, definitely not playing this the best. Knight f5. And now, knight, yeah. Yeah, 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 this didn't really go as planned because knight e7. Then I'm in some problems. Yeah, all this b6, c6 stuff was very bad. Uh, okay. Time to do some flagging, I guess. h6. Oof, this is bad. This is very bad. Yeah, actually, I'm losing my bishop now. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? This is terrible. Let's see how fast I can be. Probably not so fast. See one. Okay, now I just have to speed up. Can I win this? 
Oops, I did not see that. No! Ah, oh, he's fucked. I had only one trick. Oh, I won on time. <laughs> that was very, very lucky that uh, I did not deserve that at all. At all. Um, I was even lucky with my pre move in the under. King takes f3. Good game, good game. Wow. Um, yes. So let's play. Uh, actually, I see I have some bullets. Um, requests so that I will play in the next games. And the first I'm playing is Crypto. Uh, crypto from uh, Germany, playing the um, the Caracas now. I'm just gonna try to play really, really quickly because I was so far behind on time and almost lost some time in the end in the previous game. So playing a bit of an odd line against um, the Caracas Knight H3. Um, then to f4 is nice placement. My idea is to sacrifice at e6 at uh, any moment. Yeah, I'll just do it now. Just for the banter. Play fun chess. Uh, we're not here to play boring. So knight takes e6, uh, f6, e bishop e6. And now my just idea is just to go rookie one and ask some questions. Not really big threats, but it's a bit uh, annoying, I think. Because king has to move and uh, black will not get king as safe as they would like to. Um, so it can be quite tricky. So here, queen c7, rookie one. King f8, so I guess queen f3. Uh, now I'm threatening to take on h6, actually. Um, maybe you can take on c2. Maybe I should have gone knight f5 instead. Not sure. Really not sure. So bishops, okay, so 97, now I can take on h6, gh6, and then take on d7. Let's try this. So if g takes h6, I take on d7. There's a pin towards the king on f8. But now it takes there. Interesting. So if I go bishop g5, again threatening to take on uh, d7. And yeah, now I think uh, black should be quite careful. Now takes on g3. Huh. Okay. I kind of have to calculate because I can take on d7 here. Take on d7, bishop h2, king h1, queen d7. Bishop takes f6. Yeah. But I mean, I can just take on g3 as well. I still have the idea of going bishop d7. And also bishop f4 is an enormous threat, followed by bishop d6. Let's say rook eight, I can go bishop f4. I think bishop f4 is my main threat here. Very hard to see what black can do here. I don't see it. Queen a3 is also in there. I have no idea what they can do here. Yeah, it looks lost, unfortunately, for black. Also very short on time, 20 seconds. Yeah, struggling here now, black goes rook d8. Yeah, I'll just go bishop f4, just annoying him a bit. Bishop d6, and so where's the mate? I can grab a lot of material, but let's see if I can find the mate. Um, Bishop g8, 
knight e5, rook e5, king d7. And then he runs. I'll just take what I get. Yeah, now rook e7. Now here. I can take on c2, but there's queen d4. I mean, I'm winning on time, but let's see if I can find a mate. Because that would be the best. Now I'll give a check on e6. Okay, they lost some time. Okay, now I'll take some bullet games. Let's see who is the first bullet. Mr. Vinaber. Interesting. Maybe he'll go French. E4, E6, I guess. Uh, since it's the Mr. Vinaber, I expect him to go for the French, yes. So let's annoy him a bit. Go for a wing gambit. Now that we're playing banter, but we have to have some fun. Um, yes, now I got my setup. Just want to attack. Oh, oops. I'm a bit slow. Knight h7. Don't know what that's all about, <laughs> but we move. Okay, so now bishop a3, now bishop c5 and bishop d6 is a threat. I guess I could just go bishop d6. I can always grab the queen. I'll just grab the queen like this. After king a8, very nice mate. Uh, but he did not allow me. Let's try again. So now I think I have knight b6. And now this should lead to checkmate. Very nice, very nice. GG, Mr. Let's take uh, one more if there are some bullets. Yes, Dr. Gravstein from Norway. Uh, let's see. White again in the bullet camps. At E4. Oh, wait. Uh, Dr. Gravstein is not a premium, so I cannot play against him. So let's see if there are some other uh, bullet camps. Yes, Gustafsson Gambit. Uh, white again, e4. Can French, everybody plays French. So let's, whoa. This is an interesting Gambit. Have not seen this before. Maybe it's not so stupid. h4, h5, let's run as far as we can go and then prevent uh, them from castling. a4, knight, uh, ah, what was that all about, okay. Um, so queen b. Okay, so now goes the queen and also uh, the knight on e7. And this should be very bad for black. Can take on f7. Can take uh, that rook. And now I can take on g6. I'm run with my other pawn. Bishop e4. Take the rook. Opening up for this one, queening. Oops, there goes my queen. Luckily, I am way ahead on material. Queen c5. Let's see if we can end this masterly. That's the checkmate. Queen f6 makes the job. And now let's go back to some. Um, uh, Blitz Games playing against Ulan from France. Hello to you. E4, C5. I have to go for the Alapin, obviously. Goes D5. Looks like that's what people want to do. Now, goes C4. Oops. E6. Now I get a tempo uh, on the queen. So I can just develop my pieces quite normally. Um, and I got my knight to c3 for free, which is a nice thing. And now I can win the queen on d5. And so unfortunately for 
for black forgot to move uh, the queen from d5 to let's say h5 or a5. That happens, that's what blitz all about. Why must I lose to this bogus? Um, let's play against very nice uh, nickname. So e4 again. Let's see if there's another Sicilian or French or e5 or maybe we will see Scandinavian. Who knows, who knows? Why must I lose to this bogus? Are you there? Seems like it's an English, English person. Uh, e4. Waiting for uh, black to respond. Yes, nothing is um, happening. So maybe I should abort. There it is. Just before I aborted, and if for C5 we get our Alapin C3 goes E6. Uh, I'll go Knight F3 to see if Black wants to go Knight F6 or D5. So D5. Uh, I'll go E takes D5. Uh, I can go D4. Bishop D5 check. You can just go D4. And now Knight F6. Bishop E5 check. And Knight to C6. Let's go castles. Um, yeah, so bishop e6, just rook e1, knight e5 is uh, possible. Uh, maybe, yeah, let's go knight a5. Well, I could go even queen a4, but I'll go queen a4 next move. Okay, so now I can uh, win the pawn. Which is uh, very lovely, and also give black um, a weak pawn on d5, isolated. So now I'll just put my queen on d4, very centralized. Um, even after knight takes c5, I can go queen takes d5, but nah, I don't want to open up because this d5 pawn is just a weakness. So I'll just develop with knight d2. Uh, and next knight f3, or even knight b3. Yeah, it goes knight b3. So knight e4 back, uh, b3 threatening to take on a7. I'll just bring my rook to d1. Okay, now I can take on a7. I'll gladly do that. Uh, two pawns up. Uh, also, black has no special composition. So queen d4. Now f3 is a big threat. Okay, f f5, f3, f4. Yeah, it looks nice. I mean, f4, um, I can always just move my bishop to, I can go to, to c1, actually, and then grab the f4 pawn as well. So this should be very nice. Uh, yeah, I'll just, oh, not bishop c1. <laughs> what am I saying? Let's go bishop f2. Trade off. And then plant my knight on d4 after Trades on f2. Queen g5. Now I can obviously take on e4, but I guess the idea is. Yeah, what is the idea? Maybe bishop h3. Yeah, that's enough to make me scared, actually. Um, Hmm. Let me have a thing. So I can just go king h1, obviously. Let's be very safe. Yeah, let's go king h1. Not giving any counterplay to black whatsoever. So um, now knight takes f2, just go king, king no, I mean queen takes f2, and then knight e4. Knight g3. I mean, I can take it uh, a hundred times. So h takes, f takes, bishop takes, queen takes, and I should be fine. 
Yeah. Let's take this fella. I go queen e5 after queen takes g3. Queen h4, just king, queen h2, and very, very, very solid. Yeah, and if queen goes to g6, I can always just go knight e4. Yeah, so queen h4, queen h2. Now next, just knight e4. Okay, so still asking some questions. So knight e4. What do you want? Move the bishop, I guess, f7. Okay, so it takes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if knight takes e6, you can just go knight, no, I mean rook e6. Huh. Leave rook b1. Uh, it just takes an a2. So I blundered both my pawns. And if I run a4, queen takes c3. Yeah, that was not so good. Let's go queen c7. That does not look like the right move, rook c8. Queen d6. Or this, rook b1. Yeah, I don't know, let's go rook b1. Queen a2, rook e8. My... Okay, so now, okay, so that's, okay, I have to be faster and very slow. Knight F, oh, okay, so it's threatening to take an E1, so. Yeah, I'm very slow here. Rook E7, no. Way too slow, way too slow. Rook F, would like to take an E8. Uh, and now, after. Okay, what do I do here even? Knight F5. I feel like, yeah, I'm losing the grip here. Definitely. Queen d3. Queen d3, then I'm in big problems. Big, big troubles. Maybe not. But I'm very slow. Very slow. Queen d7. Yeah. Looks like it works for now. Rook b7 if it goes rook a8. H5. Huh. Okay, let's go knight d6. Um, I feel like I'm, yeah, okay, I think there's some perpetual with queen h4, king g1, rook e1 takes six, king h2. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Does not go for it. Okay, rook b8 check. Now I can trade queens, I think. Queen f5. Yeah. Trade queens. Now I have to win. Uh, play very quickly. Uh, okay, so it goes there. Let's go a4. Should have gone rook b7. Whatever. Bishop b6, knight e4. Run. Rook c8. Rook ah, this is uh, this is not good. This is not good. Blundering this away. Um, run. 
Um, yeah, what? How? How do I even go forward here? A6. King. Okay, so now I take on d5. I take on h5. Still uh, on. I have to be really quick now, so I cannot comment it. You're not taking the rook. Need to take the pawn. Ah, I'm getting flagged. Ah. A draw it is. Luckily, I got to take the last pawn, though, so just a draw. Yeah, that was, I don't know what I spent so much time on there. Because I, I have a challenge from uh, Mr. Ivan Risting. Uh, my good friend, so I will have to play against him. See what he has been up to. Very high rating, though. So see what he will do after he forces goes for his beloved um, Karo Khan. Let's see. Very very strong player from Norway. Feed the master. Uh, big challenger for the international master title. I'm sure he will get there very soon. Very talented player. So probably, uh, okay, so he goes for the modern line in the Karakan with this uh, very quick h5, I guess. Yes, goes h5, uh, h4. And now uh, he's thinking the knight f4, I'm preventing him from going h3. At some point, 97 is the normal move. Um, so now queen h5 is a threat, threatening um, some mating idea. So queen h5. Let's see. So now I'm threatening to take on h uh, on h4. Uh, so he takes on f4. I'll take back on f4. Now he goes h3. So I can take on h3, obviously. Uh, is that what I want? Is that what I want? Uh, let's go h3. Yeah, I'll go a, I mean g3. Let's do that. Now just normal development, I believe, is what I want. I kind of say that the H3 pawn will be a weakness throughout the game. So um, bishop be six. Hmm. Ricky one, I mean, idea is queen d7, which is a bit annoying. Maybe I should have, should have gone g takes h3. Uh, or should I move my, maybe I should go bishop f5 now, then g6. Um, maybe I should move my queen back now. Um, to d1 or? Uh, maybe I should go on rookie one first and then, and then. Queen d1. So now, let's go queen c2. Bishop b4 is an idea, obviously. Was g5 very aggressive, uh, aggressive move? Should I go bishop here. Now here. See where he wants to place the queen. Back. There, so here I go, rookie one. 
So knight g6. Maybe b3. At some point I want to go c4, but I'm not sure how I can make that work right now. Um, yeah, he can also go c5, but then bishop b3. Now he locks the position with c4. I think that's a typical idea. Let's go rook d1, back to d1 now. Uh, I5. Um, yeah, I kind of missed that. So let's see if I have some compensation. So, um, so I sacrificed a piece. Uh, I blundered it, but uh, let's call it a sacrifice. So bishop f6 check. Um, let's go queen d2. And move my rook d1. It's a very it's still interesting position. I mean, I have some compensation, um, but I'm not sure if it's enough. So queen g5, hitting the bishop on g4. And now it takes there. I guess I'll just take back. I could have taken on d8. Um, yeah, not the best decision by me. But I think the bishop is trapped on g4. Let's say I go e5. Ah, I thought I could take um, and that's a bit problematic. Actually. Yeah, so now rook e3. And now queen h6. This should be mate on g7. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I win. Uh, but a uh, very interesting game. I have to speed up a bit. Um, but GG's, GG's. Well played, well played. Let's play here. Playing with the black pieces now. It's Altan Kansu from a Turkey. I think I went above 2900 now. I was on 28 at some point when we started. Uh, e45, knight c6. So another Italian. I'll go knight f6. Now c3. Then I think I can just take the pawn e4. Um, and go d5, push in the center. I guess bishop b5, but now I'm just a pawn up. So I'm very happy. I'm a happy camper. I like pawns. Um, okay. But just bishop d6, I think. If I did not miss anything spectacular, like bishop takes d5. No, but there's, uh, yeah. Okay, so now can I go? Yeah, castles and knight e4, d4. Works tactically for me. Now rook e8. My idea is to go bishop g4. Um, Put pressure against the d4 pawn. And now, yeah, now everything looks like it's collapsing. Uh, after queen takes e4, I have bishop takes b3. Uh, okay, so now I can go bishop f4. If queen takes f4, there's knight e2. Uh, so I think only move is queen e1, but then I go bishop b3 followed by knight. Yeah, because now the queen c3, there's knight e2 check. And winning the queen on c3. Now we can also win the knight on d2, just taking all the pieces. Yeah. Let's go rook into the d. D2 square, check on h6, rook g6, followed by mate with rook g2. So good game, good game. Maybe I want to take up some bullet games. Let's see, bullet, 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 bullet. No bullet games, okay. So if you're interested, 
uh, if you want a quick pairing, then you should uh, challenge me for both uh, because then I will accept very quickly. But before that, uh, Magnus is a Kaspara wannabe. Uh, let's play against you. Very nice nickname from the US, apparently. So now I'm playing with the black pieces. Against Magnus is a Kaspara wannabe. Waiting for him to make a move. Are you there, Mr. Magnus is a Kaspara wannabe? We are waiting for you. We'll give you 10 more seconds. Eight more seconds. Six more seconds. Four, three, two, one, abort. So let's see if we got any bullet. Yes, we did. Oops, I clicked someone else in front <laughs> because I just uh, came up and challenged. Um, five minutes against uh, the rock. C4, E5, so now we play English opening. Plays rather quickly as well. Um, E3 system, very solid. Prepares uh, D4 at some point. And also kind of blocks my bishop on uh, this diagonal, so it's not so strong. But I will push against the pawn. Let's take on G3. Now bishop f. Okay, so bishop g4. Maybe knight queen d7, bishop h3 next. Knight f6 is coming. d4. Knight f6. d5. Now it opens up for my bishop on, now on a7. So I'm quite happy for that, actually. Now knight f5 is an idea. Knight e4, and now after bishop, yeah, I'll just go f5, maybe g5 next move, yeah, g5 next and f4, uh, and then long castles. Yeah, and also now it opens up for this one. And now, yeah, I mean, I can just go for, should I just be tricky? I'll go knight g6, my idea is rook takes h2, which leads to mate. It's very tricky to defend. Yeah, I can just go rook h2, followed by queen h7. And that uh, should be a checkmate. King takes h2, queen h7, bishop h3, queen takes h3 mate. So now I can accept the one minute um, game. Which was against Newt Scamander. Now I play with the black pieces. Let's see. This is a new challenge. I guess my opponent is here from Mexico, it says. From Mexico. Knight f3, so okay, what's this? Let's go g6, play very quickly, play some kind of king's Indian structure. e5, knight c6. Okay, so bishop f5, bishop d3, followed by knight to b4, yes. Knight c2 is in the air, uh, e4, c6. A3, knight, A6 to C5, rook E8. Should have probably taken knight four and I go knight C5. Knight C5, B4 you should go. It was probably not the best idea for me. So here, queen F6. 
take on f3 and bishop d4 and take on f2 check on f3 bishop f2 and mate on g3 okay let's take one more um this was not uh, against the premium opponent so if there are no more bullets yeah then i'll take a normal um Blitz challenge against man of light from Bulgaria. It seems like I have lost to this player before. So that is not good. I have to do something about it. So let's go for uh, Nimso. Indian goes queen c2. Let's go castles. e4, then I'll go d6. Knight f3. Let's go knight d7. I want to go e5 next move. Also c5 is possible. Let's go e5. Uh, challenging this and then knight c5. a5. Not really sure how to evaluate such position. Not really familiar with this type of takes. And uh, maybe I should go knight d7 first. That's probably what I do. Uh, and now, yeah. So what is the idea here? I can't take on c3 and then go f5. Is that is that what I want? Because after it takes on f5, I go knight c5 and take back on f5 with the bishop. Yeah, now I can go knight b3 also, winning the uh, should I go on bishop d3 there? I'll do it here. I'll take take on c4. If it takes on e5, I take on d5, and I will take on f3 next. This should be quite quickly over, I think. So yeah, now there's a trick. I should go queen h5 first to prevent the trick. Now rook f7. Yeah. I'll just go g6. Rook e8. Uh, I want to go rook e2 next. Not much to do for whites, unfortunately. Yeah, bishop d4, let's go queen d5. Centralizing. And also my threat is queen takes d4. Uh, which is a, maybe hard to see, but let's see if white finds it. Yes. So rook e4. And now, I mean, now I can take on b3. But I can also try to trade off this uh, rook with rook g4. I guess that should be nice for me. Uh, yeah, although, I, should I care about this? But yeah, I will play rook g4. Um, takes on. Okay, so now I'll just take, give it check. Oh, should I just go? Yeah, give a check on e4. And then go b6. b6. Then c5, then d5. Okay, let's go h5, make some loop for my king, and also h4 is in the air. Um, yeah, now I can go c5. Next is d5. d5. 
D4 is coming. I'll just take this. Just go D4, C4. Now I'll just go B5. Bishop D6, so I can just continue running. And now I think I can just deliver mate with queen e1 taking on f2. Uh, with the rook, queen h1 is checkmate. So that is a GG. Good game, good game. Uh, let's see. Let's see. To play shadow mate, I think. It's been in the line for a long time from Canada. Good luck to you, sir. Shadow mate. Goes d4. Let's go for a Dutch opening this time. I play this uh, at some stage in my career. Three years ago, maybe? It looks like he knows what he's doing. Uh, I'll go e5 anyways. I guess I'm passant and bishop takes e6. It's not really what you should do in this line, I think. I'll just go h6, put my king on h7. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm treating this as I should. Uh, knight e5. Okay. So he's kind of happy if I take on d3. Interesting. Um, a5, maybe b takes a. Okay, so now knight d7. And I want to take on d3 or go knight c5. Not sure. As of now, queen g5 also in the air. Bishop c2. Or oh, knight b6, or whatever. I mean, now threatening to take on c4. If bishop b3, there's a4, obviously. So this is a bit tricky already. There's bishop d3. Bishop d3 is not what you want to do, obviously. Because it just came from, but maybe uh, there's no choice actually. Problem is that I can take anyways on c4. Okay, so it doesn't do that. I'll just grab this anyways, take threatening to take on g2. So there's no time for bishop b2 or developing yet, so maybe castles. And I can also take on a2 and take this. Yeah, I'll take this pawn as well. Then bring my back, bring my bishop back to f7 and then start pushing my pawn uh, on a5 to a4, a3, a2. Hello. Yes. After this game? I finish, yeah? Okay, perfect, yeah. Okay, so I'll play this game and then I think I'll take a bullet game to end uh, today's banter blades, uh, to end with some fireworks. Okay, so rook c2. Um, I mean, why not? Maybe rook a2 and I just dropped my pawn. That was a bit stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. We move. Um, that was terrible. Let's go c6. Let's try to create another passer. Yeah, so it takes. Yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing? Don't want to. My rook is a bit annoying on f7. I want to have it on a8. That's the king h7. King h7. Uh, queen b6 to follow. Attack the b5 pawn. Knight f7, I think uh, f4 is just a weakness. Maybe g4. Maybe white wants to go g4.
but I think I can just go queen d7. Yeah, also here I can go queen d7. And I want to place my queen on e6 because it's very actively placed there. Looks like white is now sh short on time. Yeah, I'll just take this pawn actually. Prevents knight from going to, to c4. Um, queen c6, yeah. Trade queens, why not? Queen must probably move. Uh, yeah, so there he lost some time. So I'll I'll end the, the banter blitz with taking a bullet game. Um, yes. So let's see. I'm white, last bullet game. Let's play really fast. E4. E4, C5. OK, I, I pre-moved C9, C3, so no all up in, unfortunately. Um, so here, here. Playing very quickly. A3, put my bishop on A2. Um, go queen E, whoops. Knight E2. If I'm able, I want to go um, queen E1 to H4. Should put my bishop somewhere. Let's just put it on A2. Uh, E5. I guess I can take on D4. After queen b6, there's c3. c3 anyways. b5, I can take because I can go back to d4. Just move my king out of the way. Um, rook b1. Um, oy. Rook f3. b4. Bishop d2. a4. A5 and then B5. Now your bishop is lost, unfortunately, and there he resigns the game. So thank you all for tuning in to today's uh, banter blitz. I hope you all enjoyed some uh, great chess content and uh, uh, have a have a